That means it is written has power, but it is written will alone will provide temporal solution. The most permanent way Jesus addressed Satan was not just saying it is written, but doing it is written. It was in his doing what was written that Satan was permanently defeated. Galatians chapter 3, please, and verse 13. When Jesus went to the cross and hung on the cross, he established by his death, his burial, and his resurrection the ultimate defeat of Satan and his cohorts. And he did not just die because he wanted to die on the cross. He died doing what was written, that this was the only way he could become a curse for us. The Bible says Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law being made that means becoming not just saying i am a curse mm -mm. being made a curse for us for it is written that means he died and did what he did according to that which was written cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree 14. he says that the blessing of abraham please get my teaching in zaria the seed of abraham I did a teaching on this that the blessing of Abraham is justification by faith might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith so Satan comes to Jesus at the first instance and Jesus said it is written it is written it is written that provided a measure of victory but he still came back again this time around Jesus did not just say it is written he did it is written and it brought permanent victory are we together so there are two realms of establishing victory as we see in and through the life of Jesus number one is your confession of faith which is according to that which is written not just according to that which you feel not just according to that which you think we have established the fact that it is written is greater than feelings it is written is greater than um, I saw visionary experiences greater than the prophetic I heard in order of priority and supremacy the Word of God excels above all these realms but there are many of us our victory is limited because the only thing we do is to say it is written and the Bible does not leave us in the dark as to the fact that saying it is written, that means dwelling only in the realm of your confession of faith will produce for you a measure of victory. Three times Jesus said it is written and Satan left him, but he left only to return. But when Jesus did it is written, the victory was permanent and established. It is written. In the name of Jesus, I am light, I am salt. It is written, in the name of Jesus, I am the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, I am not poor. In the name of Jesus, I am great. That is wonderful. That is, you have already begun your journey to victory. But that, remaining in that realm alone will eventually frustrate you. Imagine if Jesus just stood and said, in the name of Jesus or in the name of the Father, I have died for sinners. All sinners, you are coming to the saving knowledge of Christ. That would be wonderful. But to end there till today, we would not be saved. That means it takes more than just saying what is written. Are we together? We must move past that realm to aligning our lives and then doing what is written. That is what establishes our victory perpetually. Most believers know how to speak well. And even psychologists will tell you that when you speak well, you are giving your mind, your subconscious, the tools that will create the physical expressions of your reality. So in any case, whether you are born again or not, speaking positively and speaking, um, releasing that positive energy has an advantage to your life. But victory in the kingdom is more than that. It starts with your speaking, but it must end with obedience, your doing. Please give us Hebrews chapter 4. Paul was giving us perspective as to the power of the word of God. He says, let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. 
Uh -huh. Any of you should seem to come short of it. Verse 2. It says, For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. The word that was preached was not wrong. The word that was preached was not important. And yet it did not profit them. Why? Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it not being mixed with faith in them that heard it that means they heard the word that was full of life and full of power and yet because they did not mix it with faith and you know what faith is by now that faith is beyond professing the word of god faith has to do with your obedience in one word faith is obedience are we together many believers are unable to establish sustainable victory in their lives not because the word of god is a lie and not because jesus christ has lost his power and victory over satan and circumstances but we are unwilling to finish this faith equation and so give him room to manifest his power in his fullness because for many believers we have not even gotten to the first realm of believing him enough to speak and declare the bible says the righteousness of faith speaks the righteousness that is of faith speaks but it does not just stop with confession there are many many people who make empty confessions in the name of jesus i will not fail and yet they do not find out the kingdom principles that are lotted for victory experientially and so we continue to declare in the name of jesus i am walking in favor in the name of jesus i am walking in abundance and that can get us a measure of victory and results but then we refuse to find out the principles that we need to work with in keeping with the word of god as far as those areas of needs are concerned and then we find out that our confessions almost become a mockery of our christian experience because we are unable to establish victory hallelujah so it starts with your faith and your faith the from the abundance of your heart the bible says the mouth speaks so don't get me wrong confession is a very important part because confession tells us what you believe in fact give us first john chapter 5 please from verse 4 and 5 it says for whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world hallelujah for whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith i'm interested in verse 5 verse 5 says who is he that overcometh the world but he that believeth that jesus is the son of god that means not everybody is an overcomer the overcomer is the one who believes not just anything and everything you must believe that jesus is the son of god hallelujah but then in believing that he is the son of god you must also move past that realm and then obtain grace from god to walk in keeping and to do that which commits his integrity to your life this is the area where many believers are missing it do you know as i prayed preparing for this miracle service the spirit of god began to burden my heart again and again as to the fact that it is important for believers to understand the potency of the word but more than the potency of the word the dynamics of the operation of the word believers need to be taught afresh how the word works the administration of the life and the power that comes through the word because now we're living in times you know what is happening across the globe and even in our dear nation challenges all everywhere and for many people their christian experience is beginning to be frustrating because they are now experiencing uh, things like lack and want and need to the point where their basic needs cannot be met again do you know 
I've observed that in Africa and especially in Nigeria, we have a very, we have a very, we are, we are very elastic. We have a strong ability to endure. So it would be difficult for people to give up on God just for maybe because they don't have a job or their health. They can manage and still believe. But when it gets to a point where you lack food to eat, when your basic needs are affected, at that point, Satan would have made a statement that if care is not taken, can affect your Christian experience. I was listening very carefully to the testimony that I think um, a sister or brother gave, how that they were mocking her and saying, this church girl, this is not about church thing. It is about a spiritual thing, but not a church version. You understand what they're saying? There are many people who are already receiving invitations to return home. And you know what that means. To return home means to return to something that seemed to have produced a level and a kind of result. Let me tell you the truth. Heaven and earth will pass away. But believe me when I tell you the word of the Lord abides forever. Do you believe that? Who is he that overcometh? But he that believes in the Son of God, when you look at the global, you know, news around the globe, economically, politically, when you look at Nigeria, we've been challenged, especially in recent times, even within our city here, the FCT, unfortunately. And so it, the, the faith of many believers are being dampened. People are discouraged. People are asking, God, are you there? Are you alive? Do you not know that the value of light is when there is darkness? Are we together now? David would have no ministry if there were not Goliath. So all of these Goliaths moving around are giving the saints an opportunity to demonstrate once and again the all-surpassing power and intelligence that resides within this kingdom. I want you to find a way of believing this. Ecclesiastes, I believe it was verse 1, chapter 1 and verse 9. It says, the thing that is, is the thing which, the thing that has been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done, is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. That means, as far as the sequence of seasons and living is concerned, there is nothing that is new. If it is wars, it has happened. If it's terrorism, it has happened before. Are we together? If it's hatred and wickedness, it has happened before. If it's victory and triumph, it has happened before. As an individual, as an institution, as a nation, nations have been freed from tyranny through history. Nations have been under the bondage of tyranny through history and all sorts of things. He's saying that there is absolutely nothing new under the sun. That means when we are challenged with things that seem to be new in our life, he comforts us that they are not new before God. That this earth is old enough and it has captured within its space all kinds of things, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But that above them all, there were people who conquered those systems. This is a word of hope for us. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth will pass away, but that the word of the Lord abides forever. But it does not mean that it will automatically work for you. This is what I want you to listen and understand. Most of us believe, I am a Christian, I am coming to church. That is wonderful. And yet the word of God does not seem to produce in our lives. Why is that so? Because number one, we have lost touch with our belief and our confession of faith. Jesus, our pattern man, is teaching us that over Satan, over negative situations and circumstances, your first port of call is to believe in the victory of Jesus and to confess and profess it with understanding. That in the name of Jesus, when men say there is a casting down, for me I declare that there will be a lifting up. Never outgrow confessing the word in truth. Do not see it and say this is something for children, except you don't believe the Bible. Satan comes to Jesus and he says, it is written. It is written. It is written. It is written. 
with long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation it is written you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you it is written you will call on one person and a nation will respond to you it is written you have to listen it is risky to build your life today in today's world on any other thing aside from that which is written you are sitting on a time bomb i'm building my destiny on my uncle's uh, promise to me that is dangerous your uncle is a man i'm building my destiny on my many certificates congratulations but believe me when i tell you vanity upon vanity anything that is not the word of god does not sustain by itself the power to stand the test of time 